Hi James Hornsby family, welcome to your guide for remote learning for this half term. Let's start. It's really important to us that we are continuing to offer a high quality education experience for all of you whilst you're learning away from school. For this reason, we've put in place a simplified timetable for this half term. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about that in just a moment. We're working hard as teachers to make sure that we're creating really engaging lessons for you that meet the needs of all of you as learners. Accessibility and IT support remains really important. We need to make sure that you can access your Google Classrooms and please do contact the school if you have any issues with that at all. We're also developing the way in which we are communicating. We're now tracking and monitoring the work that you're completing and we're logging it through Edulink, which means you may now get notifications where you have missed any of your deadlines. And we're going to continue to celebrate success through our normal channels, such as achievement points, but also through our social media. And I'm sure many of you will already have seen some examples of great work being posted on there over the course of the last term. You can access your curriculum for this half term through the school's website. Go to curriculum and learning menus, and they've all been updated to take you through the next four weeks. You can access them down the right hand side and the one that you need is going to be learning menu number three for the next four weeks. They'll be updated again in four weeks time to give you learning menu four, which will give you the final three weeks then through until the end of the school year. It's also worth noting that on the same page. We've also got some guidance up here about how to keep a daily routine. We also have an overview of how to use Google Classroom in case you need any extra support there. And most importantly, all of your subject classroom codes for all of the lessons are detailed in this document here. So if you're not sure of how to access your Google Classroom, this is going to be your starting point. One change that we have made this half term is the introduction of a new simplified learning timetable for students from year seven right through to year 10. In our wellbeing calls before the half term, many of you expressed the challenges of managing your workload at home and sometimes said that you have many deadlines set on the same day. We wanted to make sure that your workload remained balanced and manageable across the course of the week. And we've done that by making sure that you will only have deadlines set on these specific days for these subjects. If we take year seven as an example, I'll show you how that will work. For year seven, they will only need to submit their English and their modern foreign languages work on a Monday. So any French or Spanish tasks. The work will be on there no later than 7.30 a.m. in the morning and will be accessible throughout the course of the day. And the expectation is that you're working in real time, just like you would be if you're at school in your languages or your English lesson, completing your tasks and submitting them on those days. We do understand that for some students from years nine and year 10, there may be days then where you don't have any deadlines or any work to submit. Your teachers have been asked to make sure they continue uploading optional and challenge tasks throughout the course of the week so that your learning doesn't stop and you can continue to make progress and continue learning even on those days where you don't have any deadlines due. So what can you expect from your teaching and learning? for this half term. Well, your teachers are gonna to continue to set you really clear learning intentions. So you understand where your learning sits within your curriculum and within your wider learning journey. We're going to use recall and retrieval practice, quizzing, for example, to make links to prior learning and help you create connections. We're going to develop the way in which we explain, model and scaffold your learning to really help your understanding. Some of your teachers are already giving you video lessons or audio over PowerPoints to help develop that interaction that we would have had if we'd been in the classroom. 
We're going to give you lots of opportunities to practice independently, to demonstrate your skills, your understanding and your learning. And we're going to assess you as well. Check your understanding, pick up on any misconceptions that you may have. In terms of your marking, we'll give you regular feedback and the work that you are uploading via Google Classroom. We're also going to be deep marking still twice this half term, giving you a what went well and an even better if on a piece of work and asking you to go away and look at how you can develop on it. The final point that I wanted to make today, James Hornsby family, is that we understand how tough it is for us all trying to get used to a very, very new way of working and learning. I just wanted to leave you with this quote. Keep your focus on the summit from Todd Skinner. He's an American climber and he says, keep looking up, keep looking onwards and we will achieve fantastic things. Thanks for watching, everyone. Keep an eye out next week, Year 10. We've got a special message just for you. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. We look forward to seeing you soon.